shit about my baby father i know he's trying hard because i get it it's december i get it we have a daughter i get it we don't we haven't seen each other i get it we're not speaking to each other so i get it i get what he's trying to do and everything but i don't like how people is like you know talking about it like manipulative or album but this and that the nigga's not even dropping his album this month so cut it out with that shit that's one and second this is what happens, I guess, when shit turns sour in relationship. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want, like, I, even though I'm hurt and I'm, like, going through a fucked up stage right now, I don't want nobody fucking talking crazy about my baby father neither because, like, that's real. And I smack bitches and I'll fuck niggas up. I'll, I'll bury a block for my, my, my homie, like, that, my baby father, period. I don't give a fuck. I'm a, I don't know what's, go, what's gonna happen next. I really don't know. But I'm not gonna let y'all fucking bum ass bitches and you whack ass niggas talk shit about <coughs> my nigga. Cause at the end of the day, you bitches will, you will be the bitches that will fuck that nigga. All them bitches in the comments is popping shit, be the bitches that will fuck that nigga. You niggas that's talking shit is the niggas that will fucking, fucking body slam and push bitches over just to chill with the nigga in, in his section. So I don't want to hear it. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to let y'all fucking bitches talk about my child's father. Because she dumb ass bitches and you whack ass niggas talk shit about my nigga. Because at the end of the day, you bitches will, you will be the bitches that will fuck that nigga. All them bitches in the comments is popping shit be the bitches that will fuck that nigga. You niggas that's talking shit is the niggas that will fucking fucking body slam and push bitches over just to chill with the nigga in, in his section so i don't want to hear it like i don't give a fuck i'm not gonna let y'all fucking bitches talk about my child's father because she loved that nigga because culture love her dad i don't know why but she well she just loved the nigga like she just really loved him and i'm just upset you know because it's just it was just too much first um Production was terrible today. <coughs> niggas were absent today. Two niggas was absent today, so they was fucking with everything. The mic was fucked up. And whatever. Um yeah. <laughs> I've been seeing what's been going on on the internet and stuff. And you wanna know something? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let God lead me to the way, you know. All right, all right. God lead me. Tokisha birthday. Happy Ooh. birthday, Tokisha. Yeah. You. you know what I'm saying? All the way from Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I've been seeing everybody. Oh Lord Jesus. And I'm just gonna let God lead the way, you know. It's gonna take time. But in time. 
bitches. This you. year, I was one of the most tweeted bitches. Amen. This year, I was one of the most searched bitches, even on fucking Pornhub, bitch. Well, do you think I need fucking publicity, ho? Damn, Fuck out of here. Bitch, I sell. Fuck is who talking about? I don't need no motherfucking publicity, bitch. Right now on my live, there's 101,000 viewers. You think I fucking need publicity, bitch? Do you think that I want to motherfucking... That is shit. Going to shit with my husband. For what, bitch? Think I want niggas to be fucking talking shit about my baby father? The nigga that I conceive a kid with? No. So shut the fuck up. You think I want to give these bum ass bitches clout? No. So what make you think I gotta do shit for publicity, dumb ass bitches? Dumb ass niggas. That's how I know it's little ass motherfucking kids. They be under the fucking comments. Then you get smacked by their goddamn mom. For being so fucking stupid. Somebody come get that bitch ass kid. Um, I only got one birthday wish. And that's to get my, my, my wife back, Cardi. You know what I'm saying? We're going through a lot of things right now. A lot of things in the media. I want to apologize to you, Cardi. You know, I embarrassed you. I made you look crazy. Doing things I ain't had no business. I was partaking in activity that I shouldn't have been taking in. And I apologize, you know what I'm saying? Breaking your heart. Breaking our promise. Breaking God's promise. And and being a, a, a selfish, messed up husband, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to be a better person. I want to get this off my shoulders. I want to get this off my back. I apologize to you, Cardi. I love you and culture. I want to spend Christmas with you. I want to be able to spend the rest of life, my life with you. I apologize. I'm sorry for what I've done to you. I didn't fuck that girl, but I was entertaining. It. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. And I love you. I hope you forgive me. My birthday wish is just to have you back. So, everybody been um, bugging me and everything. And you know... I've been trying to work things out with my baby father for a hot minute now and we're really good friends and you know we're really good business partners and you know he's always somebody that I run to to talk to and we got a lot of love for each other but things just haven't been working out between us for a long time and it's nobody's fault it's just like I guess we grew out of love but we're not together anymore. I don't know, it might take time to get a divorce and I'm gonna always have a lot of love for him because he is my daughter's father and yeah. Nah, cause you, you, you really fine. Sexy nigga, baby father. Ow. You fucking me today. Let me tell y'all motherfuckers something. It's getting more and more expensive. Well, not for real. It's getting more expensive to maintain us women. You know, this is not the early 2000s and shit where you give a bitch $100 to get her motherfucking hair done, nails done, her eyebrows and whatever. Nah. Let me tell you something. Like, bitches is not getting the $17 full set with three free nail design, motherfucker. Bitches want the gel set and some hoes like me, you know what I'm saying, want Swarovski crystals. So that about there is like about $200 feet and nail, you know what I'm saying? And then the hair, this ain't no, you know, we're not in the era where bitches do the blowouts, you know what I'm saying, or the sew-ins and shit. No, a bitch want a whole full lace wig. The wig is about $800, $500. It really depends where you get it from. The stomach is about, I see about $300, you know what I'm saying, two, $300. So just on that is $1,000. So what's good?
Hey everybody, what's good? I'm so tired. I just got in. I've been up to 7 in the morning about to go to sleep with my makeup on and all that shit. I want to thank everybody that's listening to Invasion of Privacy. Um, I want to thank everybody that, that was included in the process. I want to thank uh, F. I want to thank Partisan. I want to thank um, Atlantic. I want to thank my publicist. I want to thank um, P. I want to thank... Um, Coach K, I want to thank everybody that just kept me grounded because it's just like I was just all over the place. I want to thank every artist that took their time and, and gave me a feature. I want to thank Kaylani. I want to thank SZA. I want to thank Chance the Rapper. I want to thank J Balvin. I want to thank Bad Bunny. I want to thank YG. I want to thank the brothers, my amigos, and um, my man. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, and my man. He kept me grounded, focused during my album time. And... Wrong my family over here. Thank you so much, everybody. I love y'all.